Carlo Bancaro is the newest member of the Orlando Magic. Could he be the Magic's next superstar? Find out on this episode of Magic Monthly. With the number one pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic selected Duke power forward, 6'10", 250 pound, Paolo Bancaro. Was this a surprise for some people? For me, it definitely was. I really thought the Magic were going to select Jabari Smith Jr. here, but I really could not be happier with the pick as I had Ben Carroll number two on my board and definitely as the most NBA ready prospect in the entire draft. I think this guy can come in and average 18 to 20 points like basically immediately if you give him the ball enough the guy's absolutely ready to go on the offensive end of the floor and he's a pretty solid one-on-one -on -one defender he might have some trouble uh keeping his defensive effort up he kind of quits on the last second of plays sometimes but that's something that can be easily fixed and i'm sure with this defensive minded squad the magic are not going to let him fail in that department plus what we are bringing him in to do is to absolutely put the ball in the basket that is his number one job as well as playmake for others so how do i see ben carroll's fit on the team this coming season uh, I think he's definitely going to be the starting power forward on opening night along with Franz Wagner and Wendell Carter Jr. in the front court with Jalen Suggs and Markel Fultz in the back court. And I think that he is going to kind of share number one option responsibilities with Franz Wagner in terms of being the leading scorer. He could end up being the leading scorer or the second leading scorer. I think the Magic are gonna give him a lot of opportunities on that end. And in his long-term role, I fully expect Paolo to be a star for the Orlando Magic, a multiple-time All-Star. That kind of player that can really push you over the edge in the playoffs, a clutch guy for the Magic. Definitely have needed this type of guy for a long time. And just quickly looking over his college stats, you can see that everything I've said about him is true. He averaged 17.2 points per game, 7.8 rebounds, 3.2 assists, 1.1 steals, 0.9 blocks. So he's pretty good on the defensive end already. He just definitely needs to give more effort on that end. And then he shot about 48% from the field, around 34% from three and 73% from the free throw line. And actually, if he would have made six more consecutive threes without a miss, he would have been a 40% three-point shooter. So I fully expect him to be a really decent shooter in the NBA. And with the 32nd pick in the 2022 NBA draft, the Orlando Magic selected a wing player in Caleb Houston out of Michigan. And this kid has a lot of potential, only 19 years old. Definitely a theoretical 3 and D prospect. He didn't shoot the ball all that well at Michigan, but he did have some flashes where he really, you know, he would make two, three, three pointers in a row and really show that ability to get hot. And I think he definitely has the length to contribute on the defensive end as well and could be a decent role player for the Orlando Magic. This could potentially be a steal in the second round for Orlando if he turns into that. His college stats were around 10.1 points per game, four rebounds, um, about one steal, 38% from the field, which isn't great, 35.5% from the three-point line, which is pretty solid, but it could definitely improve, and 78% from the free throw line, which is a good tell of being a good shooter. And I think he will spend a lot of time in the G League next season, but potentially in the future it could contribute to a winning team. And finally, with free agency starting on Thursday, we are going to talk about some trades for the Magic, specifically Terrence Ross trades. We have heard that, you know, he may potentially not want to be around this situation anymore in terms of being around the young guys. He wants to move on to a contender, and I fully understand that from his point. So why don't we look at what the Magic could possibly receive for Terrence Ross in exchange so my first proposal would be if the magic are looking to take on bad salary 
and also get an asset out of it, I think they should look at Charlotte and they could easily take on Gordon Hayward's contract for the next two years and a future first round pick from Charlotte in exchange for Terrence Ross. It helps Charlotte save money so they can pay Miles Bridges in free agency. And the Magic get a decent veteran that can actually contribute in Gordon Hayward when healthy. Obviously, he has a lot of injury concerns, but at the very least, he could be a really solid mentor for Franz and Paolo in their development. And I think he would actually be a really decent uh, addition to this team as well as a future first round pick which is always a great asset to have. My next proposal is very similar to the last one and it would be trading Terrence Ross to Memphis where he could provide some solid shooting and scoring off the bench for them in exchange for Danny Green's 10 million dollar expiring contract. Obviously Green will not play for the Magic as he is recovering from an injury for basically the entirety of next season, but they would also get a future first round pick in this. I see this as an even more likely scenario than the first option. I think Green would be just a solid voice in the locker room, even if he doesn't play. The guy has a ton, a ton of championship experience, and I think it would be really good for the Magic to just get him in the locker room and teach these young guys as well as get that first round asset in this as well. My next proposal here would be trading Ross to the Los Angeles Lakers. I know a lot of people aren't fans of helping out the Lakers, but they could offer some assets that could entice the Magic potentially. Taylor Horton Tucker, Wenyan Gabriel, and a future second round pick would probably be enough to get a deal done. I don't love the trade because THT is definitely a more of a project type of player considering he really has no jump shot whatsoever. He's a solid defender and can get to the rim, but who knows, maybe the Magic take a flyer on him. At least they get a second round pick for Ross and take a flyer on a young guy. Next up is the Boston Celtics. And in this trade, I would have the Magic receiving Aaron Naismith, Nick Stauskas, and Malik Fitz from the Celtics with Ross going over there. And Ross could definitely help them. They need more shooting and scoring off of their bench, more depth for them, especially after that was exposed in the NBA Finals. And for the Magic, you take a flyer on a guy in Aaron Naismith who you have to remember, if shooters do not get enough playing time, there's no way that they could possibly get into a rhythm. I know he has not been a great player in his early career so far, but I think on the Magic with some playing time, he could be a valuable 3 and D guy off of the bench for Orlando. And then finally, the last proposal I have is sending Terrence Ross to Phoenix, which gives them another scorer and shooter off the bench. Obviously, just like every other team, that is what Terrence Ross provides. Do you need those type of guys in the playoffs, especially one like Ross that can get hot and basically give you a solid 10 points in a quarter that could really swing the tide of a game in the NBA playoffs. And the Magic in exchange would get Dario Saric on the last year of his deal and a future second round pick from Phoenix. And I think that is decent value for Ross especially if you're not going to get anything for him. There could be a lot worse trades to make than that. And I think Saric is actually a decent contributor who you might want to re-sign. He's a good veteran to have around, been in the NBA for a while, has playoff experience. So those are my trade proposals for the Magic for Terrence Ross trades. So my question to you guys this week, will Paolo Bancaro be the magic superstar that they have been searching for since the departure of Dwight Howard. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you think about my trade proposals for Terrence Ross in the comment section below as well. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notifications bell. Thank you guys so much for your engagement so far. I look forward to continuing having great conversations with you. And most importantly, have a great rest of your day.